Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I am gonna be announcing the winner of my 5K giveaway in today's video. And also we're gonna be testing out some new NARS products, which I'm so excited about. If you guys are ready for the journey that it is today's video, then definitely keep on watching. Let me just start off by saying thank you guys so much to each and every one of you guys who entered into the giveaway. Over 120 people entered. That is so exciting. I will say I did get a lot of DMs of people contacting me asking if they won the giveaway because there's these like robot scams that are going around that literally commented on every single person's comment i did explain to them that that was not me that is a scammer like whenever that happens i would just report that person from here on out i am going to be announcing my giveaway winners in videos you will not see me telling you guys to text me and things like that or make a whole separate account for giveaway winner like i'm no that is just horrible and a lot of youtubers have been having that problem a lot lately and it just sucks because it just makes people not want to you know do giveaways like it just oh okay that's that just know from here on out all of my giveaway winners will be announced inside of my videos i will never tell you to physically text me or create a separate account so i did randomize a winner of today's giveaway and that winner is Alyssa christine shout out to you shout out to you you guys said the most sweetest comments and i'm so happy i'm literally rooting for every single one of you guys for your resolutions for your goals this year once again thank you guys so much for entering this is not my last giveaway i am going to be doing some more giveaways i'm planning on doing a giveaway on insta as well as on my tiktok so stay on the lookout for those if you're following me on those socials i have those giveaways like ready to go i'm just going to post about them in the next week or two um so yeah stay on the lookout for those I realized I didn't tell anyone to like put their IG handle so I have no idea how to contact you but since you know that you won if you see this video just know that if I like message you on the comment it'll be me but I announced you in the video if that makes sense so yes all right guys I also like put it on the community tab so in case she knows but okay so let's dive into today's video which i'm super super excited about so i have the new nars light reflecting foundation we have the pressed powder and the setting powder so they did come out with new setting powder like powders for both of these formulas the pressed and the loose i picked up the shade macau i am the shade macau in the in this foundation right here in the radiant foundation but i am not macau in the soft matte foundation i am marquise this is a whole nother foundation that's super super hard to match because when it dries it dries lighter so it's so weird it's it's very, very weird, but let's get into the foundation. So this retails for $49, which is very expensive. I hate that it's $49 because of like what it is. I was hoping it will be more along the lines of like the tinted moisturizer price, which I think is about 45. This one is 40. So either 45 or 40 would have been a really good price point. I don't understand why this is 49 because this one's 49 and girl, that's just, it's just a lot. Just a little bit about the foundation. Let's get into it. So it says it improves skin radiance by 61%. It makes your skin even. Advanced makeup skincare hybrid foundation with a natural finish that quickly blurs and smooths while visibly improving skin's clarity over time. All right, medium coverage. Right now, I do have on my Tula SPF. You guys know I love my SPF. We gotta be glowy. And then for primer, I do have on my primer. So I'm wearing the NYX Plump Right Back. I have been obsessed with this, you guys. So we're gonna get into it. I think on this side, I'll do the sponge and on the other side I'll do a brush oh the shade is perfect okay perfect perfect shade very very perfect I took about two pumps one thing I noticed about NARS and their foundation is that they don't really like the pump that comes on their foundations that have a pump it's not like really a full pump that you get <laughs> I noticed that I always have to go on with like one or two extra pumps. This is beautiful. So we have the foundation with the sponge on this side of my face. This looks 
beautiful. Oh my God, can we get into this? Like, oh, when I go closer, it looks like it doesn't work, but oh, it's a little lighter on camera. Weird. Hmm. I do have the shade Marquise as well, which I should have told you guys about, but I was planning on returning this because it seems really red, but I don't know. Now that I'm looking at this shade, I'm like, hold up. Let me just go in with Marquise on the other side. We're gonna see which color looks better and then we'll go from there. We might have to mix because now I'm looking at it on camera, it looks a little light. Like I look very, very light. Like that shade is not, not working out for me. Maybe Marquise might be better with this. So I'm gonna take another sponge and I'm just gonna do a sponge on this side. I don't know, cause Marquise looked, I don't know. Ooh, Marquise's undertone might be way better for me. I might have to take off the other side. Okay, I'm happy I had both shades because I'm liking this side better. And I already know what you guys are going to say. Girl, this side looks so much better. It does look way better. Like the shade wise. This side is Marquise. And then this side right here is Macau. Macau just looks lighter. So... I'm actually gonna stick with the shade Marquise, which is interesting. I'm actually gonna try to go ahead and put some on the opposite side. We're just gonna have to just try to cover this up, make it even on both sides, and then we will assess. So let's get into it. Let's see. Here we have the foundation. It looks really beautiful. It looks like skin. I love it. It also has like that glowy kind of look as well. Very, very radiant finish. This looks so pretty. I actually think I like this more than the radiant foundation. Definitely think I preferred the Marquise shade. I just think it's a much better shade for me. We're gonna go ahead and go in with the NARS concealer. This is a Mondi. I am honestly not the biggest fan of the concealer. I need a better shade than this one. I mean, I feel like the NARS concealer is is something. It's a it's a journey. I know a lot of people love it. This shade is really neutral. I feel like I need a more brightening shade. But since we are just going in it with, for the video, it's cool. The setting powders that I have are this, in the shade Mesa. This was the best looking shade that I personally thought would work for me. So this one, once again, like the Rare Beauty one, is not something that can go under the eyes. I also have it in the press powder as well. So this is gonna be to set my face. So for my under eyes, I'm just gonna go in with a powder to set under the eyes and then we'll dig into these two. But the pressed powder does come with this little flimsy, cheap, very cheap feeling little sponge. This feels very cheap. Oh my goodness, it literally is like paper. Okay, for the price of this, I'm not a fan of this. Okay, so it says the NARS Light Reflecting Loose Powder retails for $39. It is a light coverage. It's vegan and it has a radiant finish. Okay, did not know that. <laughs> so I'm going to use this powder to clean up my contour. So it has like this little, a little sifter. Not a sifter. What is this called? The little protection thing. What am I talking about? A sifter. Oh, okay. So it's one of those powders with the net. I personally don't like powders like that, that have the net. I just feel like it just gets in the way. It's really messy. The powder looks super, super micro, which looks really good and super promising. So I'm just gonna take some of this. Yeah, it literally gets everywhere with the, the net. I hate the nets. And we're just gonna clean up the contour here. This is actually really soft pretty powder and I'm gonna take it on my smile lines too. Let me see if I see any like radiance to this cause I don't think that I did. 
I don't really see any radiance. If it is, it's super, super subtle, which is nice. Really, really fine powder. Even like touching it, it feels really silky and soft. Okay, all right, NARS. I wish they had like an even lighter shade for like under the eyes. Oh wow, I did really good picking it. So the shade Mesa goes for, like if you're this shade in the NARS foundation, this is the powder that they recommend that you get. They say with this foundation, they recommend me using the pressed. We are gonna try the pressed powder next. I'm gonna swatch this, cause this feels interesting. It does go on the hand. It does give, I feel like it gives like a little bit of a glow. Okay, it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. I feel like I see the sheen in this one more than I do the other one, like the Radiant Finish. Let's see what they say about the powder. For the pressed powder, it also gives a Radiant Finish light coverage. It's a pressed powder that locks makeup in place all day with a luminous photo ready finish. Okay, for this one, I do feel like I see the little tiny like Radiant particles in this. It's not like too much, but I would use this powder whenever I am using cream products. Today, I just decided to just do powder products. It did come with that little sheet, this little paper looking thing. This is a no for me because all the money you spend on this, which is $40, this should come with a better puff than this paper thin puff. I'm very disappointed in NARS for this. This is a, that's a no, not gonna use that. Um, but this is a good powder to use as like a touch-up powder. Like if you're on the go, like if you're using this one at home and then on the go, I would have this in my little makeup bag in my purse and use this to kind of like touch up everything, get rid of the oils. So this, this powder does have, it does come in handy. Um, but when I'm using just powder products on my, like for my makeup, I wouldn't gravitate to the pressed powder, I'd use the loose powder. But both of those are great, great powders. Really quickly, you guys, I need to go ahead and do some blush and everything. If you guys have not seen my last video, it is a review on the new NARS Afterglow Blush Palette. I love this blush palette. It's beautiful. Do not sleep on this blush palette. I'm just taking this shade right here, which is Flirt in the palette and I'm just adding it to the cheeks. It's so pretty. Oh, I love this palette. It's so beautiful, like so stunning. Look at the, look at the blush. Like you cannot tell me this palette is not hidden. And then for highlight, I'm just gonna go in with the highlight shade in the palette. Love it because it has like a pinky undertone to it. So pretty, it just melts into the skin. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I have not put this palette down at all. Okay, so you guys, let me go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then we're gonna get started with the wear test, which I'm super excited about. So this is what my makeup is looking like after like with the foundation on and my whole face done. You guys did give me some feedback in my comments from my Charlotte Tilbury wear test. So I am gonna be doing some iPhone shots. I am gonna go outside right now and show you guys how my makeup looks outside in the light away from like my studio lights and my camera. I do have a couple of things to do today for the most part is really chill. It's 317 right now. So I will do some check-ins along the way. So I will see you guys in a little while. Okay guys, so it's been about three hours. Oh my gosh, I just chased my dog around. <laughs> this is what my makeup is looking like. I did eat salad, so I feel like it's like coming off around my mouth, but so far it's looking really good. I'm not really seeing it separate. I mean, besides the fact that it's coming off around my mouth, I feel like my makeup always comes off around my mouth. But so far this is holding up really nicely. I'm not feeling like super, super oily. I still feel like it's glowy, but it's manageable glowy, if that makes sense. All right guys, so it is now 7.04. I am gonna go ahead and end the wear test here. What do you guys think of my foundation? What do we think? I think, I will say, I do feel like it's holding up 
pretty well and the powder still looks good it's just around my mouth is really where i'm starting to like lose everything i don't know from a distance it looks decent it doesn't look the best as far as wear time goes but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope it was helpful and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys